Hey devs, welcome to the fifth part of our platform game series. So in this part, we'll be adding in a player score um, in our game. Okay, so before we begin, for those of you who are just joining the series, I would advise you to check our previous part of the um, series. A link would be in the description below. So let's begin. Um, first of all, let's preview this. Okay, so here we go. In the last part of the series, we added um, the player lives and also this flash. There we go. So once our player is in collision with the enemy, it flashes up. Okay, so that's what we added. So let's close this and let's begin. First of all, let's add in our icon to display our um, score. So add new object and sprites. Add an animation and add. So this would be the icon and I'll name this um, score on the score icon. There we go. Apply and let's put this into the scene and here we go. Let's place this in the scene and there we go. So position that there. Now let's add a score text. This would be the text to display the score. So add a new object. Let's add a text and object. I'll name this score on the score text. There we go. So text. This would be zero. Oh, sorry x space and a big um zero so size um 25 would do bold and color um i think i'll use 2d 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 right sorry d8 yeah i think this should be it there we go okay okay so apply and let's put this into the scene and we have this placed here now let's give this um a custom font so select this and fonts and select this font Right here, so I have this font just in case you want this font. A link would be in the description below. Apply, and here we go. Sorry, apply, and we have this. Okay, so position this here and here. So we have this in the scene. So let's preview this. Okay, so here we go. We have this in the scene, but it's not following the screen. It's like on its own. That's because it's on a different layer. In the last part of the series, I explained to you guys the difference between the UI layer and um, how we help position objects on the screen. So here we go once again. Let's for those of you just joining again. So let's open the layers editor and the GUI. This is the layer we created in the last part of the series, and for for our life one, two, and three. So once you position objects on a layer named GUI or UI, your objects automatically follow the screen. So let's select this cortex, hold down shift and select our score icon. Come to your layers right here and position this on the GUI layer. So let's preview this. Here we go. So it follows um, the screen now. Okay, so let's close this. Now let's add in our um, object to serve as coins, but in this would be calling them gems so add a new object and add and sprites add an animation gem add and add so your goal would be adding this which is a yellow gem this would be the small gem which would give you smaller points add an animation add and the bigger gem which would give you uh, more points so let's go to our points edit points right here on this button click this and edit points and let's center this I like center the origin point um, in the center which is the same position with our center with our center points there we go okay so on check this share same points for all animations we don't want this um, points follow in all animations so uncheck this and let's go to animation um, one once again uncheck this and let's position the origin in the center there we go so close and apply okay so let's put this into the scene this would be our gem here we go and here we go once again and there we go so for big gems I'll position them right here so here and um, here Select this, hold down shift, select multiple gems, animation, one. So this would be the big um, gem. So let's go to our new scene events. Okay, so we can choose to add in our school events in this scene. But there's a problem with that. If you're making multiple stages, 
you would have to duplicate the event over and over again luckily we can um, prevent this um, by creating an XNOW event so you can create an XNOW event by coming to your projects manager right here XNOW events and XNOW events and click on um, add XNOW events now let's rename this by clicking on the three dots right here and rename this score okay so open this and let's choose a scene so choose the scene and choose so there we go now let's add um, a new event also remember we still have to link this in this um, scene for it to work so let's link that first of all let's add a new group and I'll name this cool and let's add once again add a new um, link so there we go put this into your score group and add this and this will be school so including the um, events from the excellent events named school so add an action and um, let's select our school text and modify the text sign set to value based on a variable string um, of score they are variables um, score there we go okay so right now once this will change the text of score text based on this variable so once we set a variable once we set the assigned value to the variable we would get the exact value right here so we won't get this x anymore so just show you guys what I mean, um, I'll add an empty event and add an action, variable, here we go, value of a scene variable, score, sign, set to value 4. So right now we've assigned 4 to our variable score, let's preview this. Now here we go, we have 4, now we need that x um, right here, so to display the x, I'm showing you guys now, um, to display that x you need to place this in double quotes so right here from adding um, double quotes and add the X right here X space now this is not all you need to add a plus sign which adds this and this so with this now it would display the X before the variable string so once again if you want to display a text after all uh, the score objects you can add a plus sign and double quotes there we go so you can place your text in here and this will be displayed after the um the school so okay so let's delete this and add a new event add a condition so player is in collision with the object um gem so it's player is in collision with the object gem add an action on um scene variable value for scene variable variable school sign add sorry not set to add so this will add one to it okay so preview this As you can see, it adds one to it, but it's adding one once our player is in collision with it. So we need to make it so it, once it's in collision, um, once, um, once it adds one. So to do that, we can add a condition named trigger once. There we go. So the trigger once runs actions um, only once for each time the condition um, have been met. So okay. So preview this. So this would run it once, so as you can see it's in collision once, once, there we go, so it's adding one now. So now we need to delete this object once um, our player is in collision. So right here, add an action, we can use the object, we can use the action, delete, so you can select your gem right here, and here's the action, delete an object, there is nothing to configure in this, so okay, so preview this. So once we're in collision, it deletes it, nothing to configure. There we go. So now let's um, specify which coin we have. As you can see, now the big coins and the small coins both take the same variable of 1. Both um, add 1 to the score. So now to choose, now select which object adds um, a higher value, which um, animation in our gem object add a higher value. We can use an animation, we can use an animation condition. So add a subcondition, add a condition and um, select your object gem so animation that would be the current animation of this sign set to value 0 so once the current animation is set to 0 add an action sorry let's copy this this right here pull this so it would add 1 because that's the small gem so add a new event add a condition animation sorry 
There we go, gem animation, current animation, sign set to value 1. So once the current animation is set to 1, add an action, scene variable, value of a scene variable, um, variable, score, sign, um, add value 5. So this is the big um, gem. So the big gem, once you're in collision with the big gem, it adds 5 to it. Let's preview this. Okay, so there we go. This adds 1. And this adds 5. There we go. So that's it. This adds 5. And now let's close this. Now next add um, some particles, some effects to this. Um, a particle which would um, be displayed once our player is in collision with the gem. Okay, so let's close that. Let's go to our new scene. Scroll to the bottom. Add a new object. Let's use the particles. Emitter. Here we go. So kind points. We have three. Um, kind so we have the line texture here you can select an image and we have the line and we have the points we'll be using the points for this this would be the size of the points and the color this is a stock color i want this at yellow and for the end color i want it something darker there we go okay so delete when out of particles this would delete um the uh, the particles effect went out of um particles so for our maximum number display Maximum number of particles displayed, I've set that to 7 minus 1. For the number of particles in tank, as you can see, minus 1 is infinity. We don't want that, so I'll set this to 20. That's the maximum number of particles. And also for our spray cone angle, currently by default it's set to 90, so I want that at 360. That's a full circle. Okay, so that's all we need to configure in here and apply. And let's pull this into the scene sorry let's set a name you can leave it as new object so I'll name this core particle there we go and apply so preview this so here we go as you can see that's the particle right there so now we need to as you can see it works so we need to um change the position we need to set the position to the position of our gem so let's close this and let's go to our score right here. So once player is in collision with gem, add an action. Select the score particle and create the object. Create the score particles at the X position of gem. Gem, X, you can close the bracket. And um, for the Y, gem dot Y, open close the bracket. So this will create it at the gem X and gem y position let's preview this here we go as you can see we have this now so once our play is in collision it gives this um really cool effect or so really cool look to our coins okay so there we go next um let's add um let's add some rotation to our gems so to do that just add an empty vent right here add an action and let's select our object, gem, and rotate, sorry, okay, there we go. So rotate in the angle, this is the angular speed, 50 would do, and okay. Preview this. And we have this, as you can see, um, our gems are rotating. Really nice and good. Okay, so now let's increase the size of this text once our player is in collision with um, our gem. So, there we go, right here. So, player is in collision with gem, add an action, select the object, score text, size. This will set the size, sign, set to value 28. So, this is um, by default or initially we have our score text object at 25. So, this would increase the size to 28 and add um, an empty vent right here add a condition score text sorry timer value of a timer timer's name font size there goes the font size timing seconds one second so um the timer font size of score text is greater than one second once it's greater than one second we need to set the size back to um, the initial size which is 25 so add an action um, score text and sign oh sorry size sign set to value 25 okay so we have this let's preview this
Here we go. So as you can see, we have the size increasing right there. Once our player is in collision with it, sorry. Oh, okay. It um it, okay. It has stopped working. It worked um at the first time. That's because um the timer is greater than one second. Now we need to reset the timer so it keeps on going in a loop. So once player is in collision with this, change this, and now add um an action right here. Select your score text timer. There we go. So start or reset a timer. Timer's name. Font size. So this is the timer of the object score text. Preview this. So there we go. As you can see, increases. Um, it's back to normal. Now there we go. Once again. So go. It's a twenty-eight, and now back to twenty-five, and so that's it. Well, that's how to create um cool or add a score to your game in G Develop Five. As you can see, it's really easy, super easy. All you need is a scene variable, and that's all. Just a scene variable, and you can create um a really good looking, a working um score in your game. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next part of the.